this is Emily Bachman. How may I help you? Oh my god. Oh my god, what do I do? Okay, I'll inform him right away. Thank you. Hello, this is Emily Bachman from the headquarters of NASA. I recently just got news of an asteroid beginning to hit the Earth. I need to speak to the president. Hello, I'm Brenda Butner, and yesterday we were just informed that there's an asteroid that will come in contact with the Earth. We did the locations and we found that lab 235 and 35 longitude led up to California, Los Angeles, and this is where we pinpointed exactly where the asteroid will hit. For you, Como for News starts right now. This is Como for News live from where the asteroid is going to hit. There is an asteroid that is traveling right through space, heading right towards Earth. Everybody, please prepare. This is Dr. Philip, and today we have a relationship crisis with a girl named Lucy Grasshopper and a strong man named Derek Huff. So, Lucy, what is the problem? Alright, well first it all started with the phone call. I called him because I wanted to know where he was, and I wanted to call him to go to the grocery store to pick up a couple things. So I clearly state that I want spaghetti, because I wanted to make him a nice meal. And I say, can you please pick up some spaghetti? And what does he do? What does he do? He picks up bread. Does spaghetti sound like I said bread? I saw that we just interrupted Dr. Phil, but this is breaking news. This is MSNBC Nightly News, with, and I am Brian Williams. We have just been informed by the NASA headquarters that an asteroid is going to strike Earth. Everybody, please evacuate. And now we will continue with Dr. Phil. So, Lucy, tell me how you feel about this. Are you feeling sad? Are you okay? You know what? I don't think I am. You know how it makes me feel? It makes me feel like I'm not important. Like nobody cares about what I have to say. That's terrible. Like nobody listens to me. If I say spaghetti, it don't sound like bread. It doesn't. And you know what? I'm sick and tired of this. You know what? So. I told him to not come back in my house till he starts listening to me. And he came running back in my house. And I said, leave. And I decided to leave him. And I think I made the best decision of my life. But just to make sure, I came on Dr. Phil to get your input. Because you always have the right input and know exactly what to say. I want you to talk to him. Thank you, man. I want you to get to the store and tell him you're talking. Now, we'll continue after the break. Okay. That you need to put on a snuggie. The blanket with sleeves that keeps you totally warm while your hands can freeze. Perfect for men, women, and children love them too. And now, there's even a snuggie for your dog. Available in a variety of hot new colors that'll keep you cozy from head to toe and totally warm wherever you go. This is not a workout. This is a revolution. This is Shake Weight for men. And it's going to kick your butt. Ooh, that's it. In just six minutes. Guaranteed. Uh -huh. Ordinary weights isolate one muscle in one direction. But Shake Weight harnesses the power of dynamic inertia. Dynamic <laughs> inertia. Strength training. As you shake, the weights at each end fire and recoil rapidly. <laughs> this piston-like motion sends a shockwave of energy that forces your muscles to contract as many as 240 times a That's minute. Nice. So you build definition, size, and strength in less time. And now this technological breakthrough in strength training can be yours for just $29.95. Now we continue with our relationship crisis. 
Now we are here with the man who broke Lucy's heart. Now his name is Derek Cuff. Derek, please tell us what you have to say. So, I don't know, I was just in the store and the bread was right next to the spaghetti. So, I just took the bread and made a mistake of not getting the spaghetti. And I went home and she got mad at me and I tried to explain her that I made a mistake and I love her. And she kicked me out of the house. You're missing the point. All I'm trying to say is that you can't go to a New Year's Eve party wearing a jumbo suit if you ain't got no duck sauce. Woo! Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Dang, slap it. Let me put this in easier terms for you. you don't know the pet pig, then you can't buy more shrubs and mustard. I mean, come on. Next time, we're going to invite Tiger Woods over, and he's going to tell us why he cheated on his cat. You better appreciate what I do for you. Mom, I just heard on the news that an asteroid is going to strike Earth. And Mom, why are you cooking oats in a box? You need to open up the box, Mom. Don't tell me what to do. Hey, Mom. I'm not, I'm not kidding. An asteroid is really going to strike Earth. They said to please evacuate. Come on, we got to go.
the greatest hotel of all. This is Hotel Mama. Really? It's a garage. It's my private hotel. It's not that bad. <laughs> what happened to it? It's a garage, Mom. And then all of a sudden, a reindeer came in down and I said, Reindeer, I and my grandma got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> reindeer. All right, new scene. Oh, <laughs> to hear that. Bach. 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 Stop. 
and afterward is going to strike. <laughs> this is MSNBC night, nightly night, night. This is MSNBC news with Brian Williams. <laughs> Hello, I'm Brenda Butner, and I'm with Fox News. Yesterday, we were just informed that there is an asteroid. So, Peyton, stop doing that. <laughs> I mean, hey, I can do it by myself, okay? Get out of the 